What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Monique, the diva. I know I'm in a different lighting today, but it's gloomy out. It's not very bright. Um, I'm waiting on the sunshine to come on in. But I had to get this video up because it is super late anyway. So I apologize for the lighting once again. Um, today, I wanted to do my 30 by July 4th update. This is the second update. Um, I'll link all the videos here so um, you can just click the little bubble that pops up and it will show you all the videos that I have done previously and so let's just jump into my progress but before I do that I wanted to show you guys someone special this is Callie Sephora say hi baby girl say hi YouTube she is a, what I'm talking about. Y'all, she think I'm crazy. And she is so tiny. Look at She is so tiny. Mama's baby. Um, if you guys follow me on Facebook, um, you will have seen her. She's so small, I have to keep lifting her up so you guys can look. Um, but if you follow me on Facebook, you would have seen her already. She is three and a half pounds and three months old. And I don't think she likes camera time but she wants to be up under me all the time so she will be sitting on my lap um she smells so good i gave her a bath so that's callie sephora thank you nancy <laughs> you know i had to throw a little bit of me in there but a little bit of you because that was tight with that sephora yes miss nancy help me out with the name y'all okay so let's get into this my most recent purchase is the Anastasia Brow Wiz Pomade. And from the last time, I've used this a couple of times, y'all. Since the last update. But I'm not going to finish it. But I'm glad that this, this, um, I had to put her down. This project really made me use that product. And I'm glad because that's a lot of money that I spent and I'm really not using it. I'm still going for my pencils more than I'm going for the pomade. And I bought the pomade because it was more cost effective. But I gotta make some more progress. A product with cute packaging. This is another item that I have not used because I have been working on a couple other lipsticks and I also had bought some new ones and I kinda got into them. Um, like those color changing lipsticks that I showed you guys that will tint to um, your body temperature. So this is Max Fill My Pulse. And it's in this brown, beautiful packaging. It's a purple. I love purples. I'm rocking a purple right now, but it is not this. Um, A unique item, the Rock Luster Drops. Okay, I just used this as was on my eyes today. That's why it looks like white, but it's not. It is just this silver gold, white silver gold. I mean, it's very hard to describe, but it is all three. And um, if you look, that's where I started. And the second line is actually where I am. Um, it has to all uh, fall back down because I just used it today. But I made a little bit of progress on it. A product I have not used lately and still ain't really used lately. So that is my oil cleanser from Garnier Nutrice. It looks like this when you're in the store. Nourishing cleansing oil. And you see the mark there that I have. And I, if the mark was here, that is where I am now. So a little bit of progress. This stuff is just so messy um but i haven't been using that for a good reason i was using a different product um a product that costs five dollars or less this is where i messed up but i used a different product as well um i did not know i had so many doubles in here but anyway this is where i was that's where i'm at it's barely any progress at all I'm really going to kick this into gear in the next few weeks that I have left and try to really get this done. 
my least favorite perfume. Um, I don't know about this, y'all. This probably is not gonna get touched. This project. <laughs> I picked a different perfume and this is the Vera Wang Love Struck and it's not that I don't like it It's just very very warm and it's not for summer and I have not used it not once not not one time It's a really nice fragrance, but it's just this is not summer appropriate So just smelling it makes me feel hot because it's just this warm you know, make you feel like you need a sweater or something. I got all of this on my hand from the Lorac Luster Drops. It's, my hand's just shimmering. Okay. My favorite perfume. I finished up one of them. Uh, the P-U-S-S-Y. That was from um, Miss Lucretia. I finished that up. The second one I picked, I picked another perfume, is the Michael Four Sexy Amber. Now, here it is. It's a little tiny travel size thing. And um, there's just a drop left in there because what I did was I transferred it into a Traveler. So here's my little Traveler and it's full. I do need to use this up. But when I use this up, this will be all that's left. I think I could use this up in the next couple of weeks and then I'll just be left with this by the time the project ends. Um, the fragrance that I have been using, you guys, um, is another one that's in my perfume project pan. Um, I kind of got a little bit tired of, you know, a perfume perfume. And so I went with the Victoria's Secret Endless Love. That's what this is. And it's in the old packaging. That's why I'm trying to get rid of it. And when I started, I was there. See that mark? And now I'm all the way down to here. That's a lot of progress. And I use that much because I've been putting it in the travel. When I put it in the travel, it's like I'm not really using that much. And then I can freshen up throughout the day or whatever. But it's getting rid of a ton of this. So yeah, I think that I could finish this by the end of the project. And I think that's what I'm actually gonna try to do is finish this fragrance instead of the Michael Kors. Um, a pigment love. I switched out my pigment because I didn't like the one I picked. So this is, um, I forgot the name. I know the color name is Sage, but I forgot the product line. I'm sorry. It's in my previous videos if you'd like to check those out. Um, but the color name is Sage and it looks like this. Really, really, really pretty. And OMG, is that a lot of pigment? That is a hell of a lot of pigment that is in there. I'm trying to get it to focus, y'all. Focus. Anyway, it's a lot of pigment in this little tiny cup. And, uh, 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 I've been using this like every day. Every day. Okay. I even have it on right now. Y'all see it on my lower lash line? But, honey. Yeah, that, 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 I don't know what to say about that. Um, it definitely makes me want to use the rest of my pigments. I have a drawer full. Like, y'all think I'm playing? I don't think I've ever showed you guys. These are all, can y'all see all of that? That's all pigments. Those are all pigments and glitters. So, I'm screwed, <laughs> okay? Thank God, pigments never, ever expire, especially since I take them and I put them in another little canister and use them like that. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty much screwed because I have another pigment standing up here on top of my desk, a stack is where that one came from. Anyway, an expensive makeup product. My Mac Pro Longwear Concealer, honey. Yes, and it is done. Y'all see that? I am so happy. This thing took forever. This is my Mac Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42, and I'm glad that it is gone. It was sitting on the side, and it's kind of like settled.
but don't let nothing pump out and I don't know how to take the top off so it's done a cream product and I chose my Urban Decay 24 7 glide on shadow pencil in sin I haven't even had to sharpen this again since the last time looks like a little bullet there I have not had to touch it at all um, so yeah this is gonna take quite a while to use up but I do like using these for eye bases so I'm not mad about it um, a product I've recommended my Jordana easy liner in silver lilac it's a lip liner and I don't have it upstairs with me. I was too lazy to go back downstairs and to get it. But I have used that a few times and I think I could finish it by the time the product, the product, the project is over for sure. A lip balm. I also left that downstairs. My Mac, no, my Jack Black lip balm. And um, it's not done, you guys, but I do have a good amount of progress on it. A body scrub. Check that off the list. This is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Passion Fruit and Guava. And it's finished. I really like this. I really, really like this. I would definitely buy this again. Current Makeup Remover. The Neutrogena Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. Okay, you guys, this is where I was. Let me bring you in. That's where I was, right down there above the product um, fluid ounces. And now I'm at that little, that little drop. That's all I got. I got but probably like today, tomorrow, and the next day. And then it's done. So that is why the oil cleanser was not getting used. Because I was using this to take off my makeup. Um, best working foundation, which turns out to be the worst working foundation in my collection. Um, I chose the CoverGirl Queen 3-in-1 All Day Flawless. I should have a lot more progress on this, but I haven't used this for the last two weeks at least. Um, it's just very, very thick, and with the hot weather, it's bothering me. So this is where I am now. I have been mixing it with the Urban Decay Naked Skin. And this one is in 8.0, which is too light for me in the summer. And this is where I was. And that second line is where I am now. And I have had to mix this, yes I know honey, with the NYX Pro Foundation Mixer in warmth. And that's what that looks like. And it literally looks like this color down here is an orange color. Um, they also have one in like, I think deep, which is more like a brownish, but this is for real orange. Y'all see that? Like straight up orange. And it just warms up that foundation color just enough for me. These two are my winter colors. You see, I don't even know if y'all can tell against my skin, but these two are my winter shades. Um, right now I'm a lot darker. And this is not gonna this is this ain't gonna cut it so that's how I've been doing that um where are we now a high-end nail polish and I chose my OPI in you're such a Budapest and I do have this on my toes and on my fingernails it's been peeled off my fingernails something terrible but, um, yeah, I get compliments on this every single time I put it on. Every single time I put it on, somebody notices my feet. So, definitely going to rock this the rest of the summer. I don't have a problem with this. This is just amazing. I've got a ton more nail polishes. Yes, I do. But, um, I don't have a problem with putting this back on my toes again. As far as my nails go, the polish that I picked was the Pink Chiffon. And this is from Sensational. It's their gel polish. And still have not put it on, y'all. I am doing terrible with this um, nail polish stuff because I really should have been put this on. And I don't know why my camera's not focusing. I don't know, y'all. Anyway, um, a product from a previous 
panning, Mac up the amp. That said, this is in a previous product, previous panning project, and I'm still not done. Um, I do have this on today, and I have used this a few times, but there's still a lot to go. I mean, a lot, a lot. So what I need to do is just start wearing like, um, it's hard because I'm trying to use like the the rock luster drops, but I really need to use like just a bare eye pretty much like a really, really neutral bare eye and then just rock this bow lip and I will be good to go. Um, a product that I carry in my purse, my ozone lip liner. I haven't been using that because I've been using my Jordana silver lilac a cheek product and I chose my Mac sweet is cocoa blush this is a sheer tone blush um it don't look like I didn't use it at all y'all like at all but I have I promise you I have and um I just I don't know what to say about it it just looks exactly the same to me. So yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I swirl my brush in here heavily when I'm applying it. Um, and I do use a pretty, this is the Sonia Kashuk blush brush. This is my favorite blush brush. It's like perfectly shaped, even though it's like not shaped right. Cause it was, it's like a little pinch right there. But anyway, y'all know if it's in there, like perfect. And it's got this little pointed edge. Y'all see how it comes down right there? And I can just apply it to my cheeks. I'm wearing it. I wear it every single day. And I mean every single day. So I don't know if you're, how I'm going to do with blushes. Because I also want to do like a blush project pan. And now I am slightly nervous because I, I don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> um, a lip scrub. I chose my e.l.f. lip scrub, you know, the ones that come like this, and I said I wasn't going to rebuy it, but I did. I went ahead and bought it again, so it's done. Uh, my favorite eyeshadow, I chose my MAC Bamboo, and that is what that looks like now. The sides are getting thinner, especially this side over here. That's what I've been working on more than the other side. So um, I'm hoping that by the time this product project ends, I can use up just that one side. Because if you look, even you can see pan. Um, you see how you can see the edges of the pan? You can't see the edges of the pan over here. But if I turn it, now you can see the edges of the pan. You see that? Okay, well that's because that's where I've been working my brush. So I think that I will be able to clear out the one side. Um, an eyeliner, my L'Oreal Silk Kiss Me in black. I have not been using this very much. Um, I was at, if you look here at the end of the pencil, it says L'Oreal. Um, I was at the L, now I'm at the A. So I have used it a little bit, but not as much as I would have liked to. I've been using another eyeliner and trying to really finish that one up. Um, a hair product. My Jam by Soft Sheen Carlson. This is like my little edge control. And that is done. I bought this again. Um, a product I don't seem to like. My MAC Cream Sheen Lipstick in Berrigan. And I'm glad it is gone. Done, done. Oh, I'm so sick of this thing. Oh, I'm not ever buying another Cream Sheen. Sorry. <laughs> um, my favorite face mask is my Bosha black mask and that's also downstairs I have been using that um, I probably will use it again once this week um, I don't know if I'll be done with it because I don't like to use it too often because it is very it's a pretty strong mask 
it's a peel off life mask, but um, I do, I do have some project. I mean, why do I keep saying that word? I do have some progress on that product. <laughs> okay, my favorite body intensive care. I had got it for Christmas. I had the one in the brown bottle, but then I ended up picking up another one. And this is the um, Essential Healing. I don't know the difference except for their Essential Healing. And um, there is squirrels out there in the tree. I'm sorry y'all can hear the birds. They are very loud. And I got the window open right here. But anyway, I am all the way down to here, y'all. And I had to take, you know, the pump out because I have to, like, you know, you know, you got to, like, hit your hand on it to get it out. That's what I've been focusing on. That's why that baby oil is not done because I'm almost done with this. This won't take me but another week. And then I'll move on to the baby oil and I'll make a good dinner. An old favorite eyeshadow palette, which is... Where is it? I moved it, y'all, because I ain't been using it. And it is my Urban Decay Naked Palette. I ain't even touched it. I rearranged. Ugh. Woo! I rearranged my makeup like I do like every other week. I don't know why I'm always in here touching shit, but that's just what I do. Um, a mini makeup product. And I chose my Smashbox, where are you? My Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Thank you, God, that this is gone. Because I hated it. Why is nothing focusing? Um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Potion. Pri primer, whatever. Okay. I could not get anything else out. Like, no matter how hard I squeeze, I could not get anything else to come out of this thing. And I'm glad I used my little, um, this thing, you know, use of your Too Faced. I used that on this and I got everything I could. And last and not least, my favorite highlighter, which I learned is really not my favorite highlighter. Um, it is a great highlighter. I love it, but it's not my favorite. I have to be tan in order to love wearing this. Um, and this is my MAC Golden Bronze Iridescent Powder. Okay. And it is what I have on my cheeks. That is, yes, that is that. That right there? Up there? Right there? Uh-huh. That's this. And this is what it looks like. And it is it is gold. It is it is like a gold. So if you are um, fair skin, light skin, any of that, lighter than me, like right now, you may not like this. Um, that's one of the reasons why I don't like Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop because it is really gold on the skin. Now that I'm tan, I probably would love Champagne Pop, but in the winter time when my skin's a little bit more pale, and I'm actually at NC45 in the summer. Um, in the winter, I'm more like an NC43. Um, I, I just don't like it. But to each his own. So that is this. And I have been mixing this too with my MAC, believe it or not, Soft and Gentle. And it looks gorgeous mixed with this. Soft and Gentle is like this pinky champagne. And I thought that I would hate this on my skin because it's such a bright color. Um, I feel like it's like icy. You know, and I thought it was going to maybe look ashy. But these two together are magnificent. <laughs> it tones it down, but it warms it up. A little of both worlds. So that is everything. Um, yeah, that's all, you guys. So I hope you have enjoyed watching my progress update. I know I'm late putting this up. Um, but I will be putting my, my final update up on the 4th because I will be leaving town shortly after that. So look forward to seeing that for me. Thank you for watching. Callie is asleep now. <laughs> she should be asleep when I'm asleep, but she ain't never asleep when I'm asleep. And then I got to wake up and chase her ass around the house and wonder why she is not pooping on the poop, the, uh, puppy pad. She don't like to use that. She has to be bad. But she knows how to use it. Ain't that something? She knows how to use it. But when she don't want to, 
She just won't. <laughs> so I say she remind me of me because she do what she want to do when she want to do it. All right, y'all. I'll see you later. Have a great day. I love you. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. And um, I will see you next time. Deuces.